Hey guys, what's happening? Michael here. Today, we've got our hands on the Google Pixel XL and I will give you guys seven tips and tricks on how to improve your user experience. Stay tuned and I hope you guys find these helpful. Before we kick things off, I'm using Android version 7.1.1. First, we're going to pull down the notification bar, then click on the settings icon. Now we scroll down to the moves section, which essentially are gestures to help you better control your phone. Now within the moves menu, we'll go one by one and I'll explain each, beginning with swipe for notifications. When you swipe once, the notification bar comes down. Then when you swipe a second time, the entire notification bar comes down. And if you swipe up, the notification bar disappears. The next one is to quickly access your camera. Simply by double tapping the power button located here. Then we have flip camera which all you need to do is double twist your phone when you are in the camera app. Now the next one is very convenient, which is double tap to check your phone. Here you can quickly look over your notifications. And if you wanna open your phone from that point, all you do is swipe up. And lastly, we have lift to check phone. Again, allowing you quick access to your notifications. The next trick is within the Google keyboard. Simply tap the Google icon on the top left corner. From there, you have quick access to Google. Say I'm looking for a 2017 Audi S6 horsepower. I search Audi S6, scroll over to specifications, click on horsepower, click on share, and there you have it. Now, if you don't see the Google icon on your keyboard, all you need to do is go to settings, scroll down to language and input, click on virtual keyboard, click on Gboard, click on search, and make sure show G button is on. Next, if you want to switch between two apps quickly, all you do is double tap on the recent apps list button located on the bottom right. Here I'm switching between the camera and settings. And essentially, this can be done with any two apps. Next, we have Smart Lock, which is a real convenience, especially if you have your phone locked with your password or fingerprint. To get there, first go to Settings, scroll down to Security, press Smart Lock, enter your password, press Got It. Once within the Smart Lock menu, you can see it has on-body detection trusted places, trusted devices, and trusted voice, which quickly allows you to keep your device unlocked when it's safe. Pulse, notification, light. Now to make sure yours is turned on and working, go to settings, tap on notifications, tap on the settings gear icon on the top right corner, and make sure pulse, notification, light is turned on. Multi window. To have two apps open at the same time, first you have to be within an app. Next, press and hold the recent apps list button on the bottom right. Once you do, choose the app you want to use on the bottom. Now you can also customize the height of each app. And for those of you wondering if this works in landscape, the answer is yes. Now, if you're running low on storage, and have a lot of pictures and videos stored on your phone, from settings, scroll down to storage. Press manage storage, then free up space now. Here, you can choose to delete some of your photos and videos, or downloads, or apps. But make sure that you first confirm that you have backed up your files. Another way of doing this is by opening Google Photos tapping menu on the top left corner and press free up space. Now here's a bonus for those of you wondering how my animation speeds are so fast. All you need to do is go to settings and click on developer options. 
Now, if your phone does not have developer options listed, all you need to do is click on about phone, scroll down to build number, then tap on build number multiple times until developer options opens. Once it does, go back to settings, scroll down to developer options, scroll down until you see the three scales, which are window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. Mine are set on 0.5, but you can also turn them off. This is entirely your preference. Personally, as a power user and being on my phone quite often, not having any animations does help me save time. Ultimately, the Pixel XL is all about user experience. Not to mention it has a lot of great specs. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.